No response. Well, what the heck am I gonna waffle about for the next three minutes? Guess I have to just figure it out then, huh? Just like last year, we spent the whole first half of the year without any TFS updates. So what's going on? Since Alex didn't reply to my email, and don't blame him really, it was quite a stupid email, I'm gonna have to, once again, resort to mere speculation. Let's get started. When it comes to what's actually coming to the next update, 1.30.6, we really have no idea what it could bring, as just like the last three updates, Alex never picked a specific feature to be added for the next version. Instead, he simply said that it will have some features from the near-term plans topic in the info menu. We'll get back to this later. Putting previous update delays into consideration, it is likely this update delay was caused by some app store obligation. But if it was, Alex would tell us, since that's what he did whenever such obligations were made. With that in mind, another reason for this delay could be a bug he encountered during development, like the 1.7 delay which was caused by the development of AI air traffic. Similarly, Alex is probably working on implementing a big feature. It's also worth noting that Alex tends to get sidetracked when working on updates, which he proved himself in this comment. Here, he says that when working on 1.30.4, the version which brought the new free flight menu, he spent some time working on the A42 gunship aircraft, when he was supposed to be working on the new free flight menu. Now, I'm not blaming him for this, I'm just pointing it out as one of the possible causes for this delay. Alright, so what feature could be causing this delay? Well, we don't know, but we could use our friend, the near term plans, for some help, since Alex said the next update will be featuring some features from it. Featuring some features, yeah, great, well done. Well done script writing. Right off the bat, we can immediately assume that Alex was continued working on the A-42 from earlier, or even began working on other gunship aircraft and vehicles. Another big feature that could cause some problems is the improved damage system, which is the most complete feature on the list. My biggest candidate is Skyhook. Now that may not seem like much, but Alex himself confirmed that it's a complicated feature to work on, as you can see here. This was all the way back in 1.30.1, and considering how Alex has been prioritizing other features since then, it would seem safe to assume that Alex would return to Skyhook after all this time. Overall, we can't know for sure what's causing this delay or what's coming in the next version of the game. We just have to guess based on the features and the near-term plans. And when the update comes out, we'll find out directly from Alex. By the looks of things, Alex is either taking a break or finishing up the next update by now, but we can't know for sure, so don't take my word for it. Look, I try very hard to keep my personal opinion out of my videos, but sometimes my video ideas depend partially or entirely on my opinion, and this video is one of them. With that being said, here's what I think could have happened to cause this delay in the first place. Remember, it's just my mere opinion, and there's not much backing it up. Alex began work on the update with a big feature in mind. Not long after, he encountered an issue with the feature that was quite difficult to resolve. He tried his best to fix it, but just like the AI air traffic, nothing seemed to go his way. So he either took a break or shifted his focus onto another important feature, which could be modeling the upcoming gunship aircraft and vehicles. Right now, he could have ended his break and returned to the aforementioned issue, or he's still in the break, either relaxing or modeling the new aircraft and vehicles. Another very likely scenario is that he had personal problems that prevented him from working on the update for some time, if at all. In the end, we can't know for sure what caused the next version of CFS to be delayed. Only time will tell. And that should be the end of today's video. If you have any ideas for what might be causing this delay, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.